30 days ago I started this TikTok page from scratch and now it's made me 10k. But guess what? I didn't even need to show my face and I was a complete beginner when I started. But with the new TikTok creativity program that just came out, I was able to make $1 for every 1,000 views. And I'll be sharing step by step what I did to get to 10k in under 30 days. So this all began one day when I was scrolling through TikTok like we all do. But I wasn't just mindless scrolling, I was on a mission. A mission to find videos that were going viral on TikTok so I could find the perfect niche for my account. So I'm noticing that a lot of people are just reposting clips from podcasts and streamers and they just smack some GTA driving clip below it to cheat the algorithm. And I could do what everyone else is doing, but here's why I'm deciding not to. Just think about it. If everyone and their mum was posting streamer clips, then why would anyone want to watch mine? Plus the RPM for this is trash and TikTok is probably gonna patch it soon anyway. So we need to create something with more depth to it while also being over one minute. Because in order to be eligible for the TikTok creativity program, your videos need to be over one minute long. And after scrolling through TikTok a little longer, I stumbled across a niche. So I've been seeing a bunch of pages where they take interesting topics and turn them into educational videos while also being entertaining at the same time. This page for example finds interesting stories about footballers and turns them into engaging videos that really keep the viewer hooked. So we can try and do something similar here. And after browsing for a bit I found a niche that gets a lot of views but surprisingly doesn't have much competition on TikTok. Now, even though I want to share my niche with you guys, I have to keep it a secret for now. Just let me buy a house first, please. But the plan still works for other niches too. It's really the content strategy that matters here. So here is the master plan to reach 10,000 followers so I can join the creativity program and start making money. I see a lot of people claim that you should post six videos per day, but I'm going to try and do something a little different. I'm going to create one video per day so that I can focus on quality, but I'm not just posting in any video and praying, there is a strategy behind it. Now, although creativity is good, if you're too creative, you're going to waste a lot of time seeing what works and what doesn't. So I'm currently taking a look at my competitors to see what works for them. I went to their profiles and sorted by most popular to see what was getting the most views. And I also looked at YouTube shorts to see what was working there. Because if it's working on YouTube, then it will most likely work on TikTok. But we're not gonna straight up copy it though. What we're doing is taking their idea which already works and using it as a foundation to make it even better. So we have a list of video ideas right here and this is where 80% of your time should be spent. Because even if your video is amazing, if the video sucks, then nobody's going to be interested in the first place. So with my list of ideas at hand, it was now game time. I was ready to start putting the first video together following a three step simple process. And the first step to every viral TikTok is the hook. This is the first line of the video and it is so important because it determines if the viewer keeps scrolling or if they stop and watch your video. And after the hook, the next part of the script is to follow up with an interesting story. So I'm working on the script right now and ChatGPT is frustrating to work with. I've noticed a lot of mistakes in the script that I want to change. Just know that you'll need to tweak the script to make it more simple and engaging for the viewer. After messing with ChatGPT for a few hours, I got the script done and then next step was to do the voiceover and the weapon for that was 11 laps which I used to produce a natural sounding AI voiceover for the video and that takes us to the final step the editing now this part was very simple I just added together some basic clips snappy subtitles and it was done in about two hours my first video was ready to take on the TikTok algorithm this is the start of something big I'm a little nervous but I'm about to post my first video and after uploading all I could do was wait. A day went by and I finally checked my phone and I was met with 13 views. Well, this is bad. My first video just completely flopped. I don't know if I can do this. I started to doubt myself. Was it the content, the timing, or just bad luck? I've heard about accounts that just don't take off. So was I one of those? I'm not someone who sticks at something for long. So I had to make a choice. Do I give up or keep going? And spoiler alert, 
I kept going. After all, what did I have to lose? So we are back at the drawing board. You think I'm just gonna give up after the first video? It's time for round two. I'm gonna look through the list of video ideas I have right here and try something new. So here are the three rules that I'm following for this second video. Would anyone watch this even if they aren't interested in the topic? Can I write an intriguing hook to stop the viewer from scrolling? Is the video exciting enough that the viewer has to watch until the end? And if my video breaks any of these rules, I'll scrap the idea. Well, after spending all day working on the video, it was getting late. So I published the video at 9 p.m. and went to bed, hoping for the best. And honestly, I wasn't expecting much. But when I woke up in the morning, I couldn't believe my eyes. Guys, I just opened TikTok and I have 99 plus notifications blowing up my phone. And taking a look at my video, we're at 30,000 views. This is insane. I was no longer stuck in the under 200 views club. And that video, it didn't stop at 30k views. By the end of the day, we had over 100k views. But I couldn't just sit back and enjoy the win. It was a sign to keep making more videos. And just like that, the ball was rolling. Each video I uploaded started to get traction. They got about 50 to 100k views in just one day. And that second video, it was only the beginning. 100k views turned into 1 million views. And it turns out it wasn't just a one hit wonder. My page was gaining traction and fast. Views, likes, and comments, it was all happening. So fast forward to my sixth video, and by now I was getting the hang of this. I knew what my audience liked and I was all in, but the next video wasn't just a normal upload. It was one of my most successful videos to date. Three million views. I don't know what to say. I couldn't have dreamed of getting this when I first started, let alone on my sixth video. So by now I was officially a big page. I had figured out a framework that worked for my content and I was getting 100k on every upload with the occasional video getting over 1 million views. So the TikTok page is on a roll right now but even though we're bringing in crazy views what I really want to hit is that 10k follower mark. So I got on my grind and after 15 days of consistent uploads it finally happened. It's 5am right now but I can't sleep because I'm so excited. One of my videos videos is blowing up and I just reached 10k followers and I'm about to apply for the TikTok creativity program but just when I thought I was on the come up something very bad happened one of my videos that was blowing up got taken down by TikTok and just like that a video with 2 million views in less than 24 hours gone I am absolutely gutted right now I'm kind of worried this will impact my application to the TikTok creativity program I was hoping that with this TikTok side hustle, I would have been able to quit my job. And boss, if you see this, please don't fire me just yet. So I hit up TikTok appealing to get my video back, hoping for a miracle, but there was no luck. TikTok rejected my appeal. So there I was, thinking I hit the jackpot, and suddenly I was back to square one. Despite the setback with the video takedown, things were still going well. I got accepted into the TikTok creativity program. And let me tell you, waking up to the first day of earnings was something else. 387 pounds in just one day, I couldn't believe it. My TikTok page wasn't just a page anymore, it was a money printing machine. And the best part, the numbers kept climbing. Within two days, I'd made over $1,000. And every video I posted was popping off, bringing in millions of views. And after a little over a week, I managed to make $5,000. I feel so happy right now, I don't even believe that this is real especially how quickly it took me. This TikTok creativity program is no joke, guys. But as you guys know, in life, when things are going well, there's always gonna be something which takes you back to earth. Out of nowhere, it all came crashing down fast. My videos that used to rack up views like crazy suddenly didn't. I uploaded what I thought was another hit, but this time, the views were shocking. I got 3,000 views in 12 hours. And that might sound okay, but compared to what I was getting, that's nothing. I thought it was a fluke, but the next video did awful too. And then, it hit me. I was shadow banned. It's been a few days now, and still, my videos aren't reaching my audience. I'm not exactly sure what the issue is, but I think it might be because I uploaded secret leaked footage. I might have to start over with a new account, because this one might be dead. But... We'll stick with this for a bit longer and see what happens. And just when I thought my TikTok journey hit a dead end with the shadow ban, things started to turn around. It wasn't instant, but after a few days of low views, 
things started to pick up again. Suddenly, my videos weren't just recovering, they were breaking records. We're talking half a million views every single video. And then, out of nowhere, one hit a staggering 3 million views. The followers kept pouring in too, and I breezed past 50k. But the most exciting part? Hitting $10,000 in earnings. And I'm still uploading to this day. So earlier I mentioned that I looked at viral videos on YouTube Shorts to find ideas. And if you're not posting your TikToks on YouTube Shorts, then you're missing out on extra views. YouTube Shorts work a little differently though. So check out this video where I show you what happens when I tried out YouTube Shorts for 7 days. <laughs> 